I'm Kim Stevens. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, um, and I'm Cole's mom. Cole is 11. Cole has Hunter syndrome, also called MPS2. So he's missing an enzyme that takes waste out of his cells. So it builds up in major organs like your liver, spleen, heart, and for him, because he has a cognitive impairment in his brain. Cole was diagnosed when he was two and a half. It was like, okay, this is real. Um, my two and a half year old has this disease that is a progressive disease and a terminal disease. Um, most boys with Hunter syndrome live to be 10 to 15 years old. So that was immediately in the forefront of my mind. I think the next step was, okay, what can we do? Found out that Dr. Munzer was a leading doctor at UNC and we thought we're five and a half hours away from UNC. We're going to see Dr. Munzer. So Cole is somebody who had the severe form of MPS2, where he had physical involvement, but he also has significant neurological involvement and developmental delay. And when Cole got enrolled in the interfecal trial at the time he was sort of plateauing, and he sort of stabilized pretty much since then with maybe some loss of skills recently, but overall he's had a much different prognosis than he would have had before. Hello, Cole. How are you? Currently, we don't have any approved treatments for the neurologic disease. Yes, Cole's involved in a clinical trial for that, but we still haven't really solved that puzzle. And so one of the things that are left to do is one, to develop a therapy that really works for the brain disease, but also works for the rest of the body that we can sort of give one treatment and be done. One of the other challenges we have is newborn screening. Most patients with Hunter syndrome are picked up much later than they should be, and they already have significant clinical burden. So if we can pick them up sooner, then that would also really then help us intervene sooner. And it's much easier to prevent disease in MPS2 than try to correct it once it has happened. I want something that is a good treatment for him. I'd like it to stop the progression of the disease. I would love for something that can clear out the brain so that he can function. He was really talkative up until he was probably about eight. Um, and then we just sort of saw the words start slipping away. And he held on probably the last year or so um, where he was just saying mommy. That was the only word that he said. Um, and then that sort of gradually dropping off a little bit. Every once in a while, he'll, it'll still come out and he'll say mommy. And um, you know, that's one of those heart tugging moments where you're just like, you know, you don't ever want that to go away. I know that those clinical trials, those research is out there. Um, and there's so many people working so hard with research and trying to find a cure for Hunter syndrome and so many other diseases. Um, so I'm hopeful for that.